What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's David here with Math Tutorials 14. And so today I am back and I am basically just going to tell you a couple of things. One, tomorrow is Let's Talk Tech episode number nine. Um, and I'm going to be talking again with Max um, about a bunch of different things, Jailbreak Con, um, you know, and uh, WWDC, the official date for that, uh, got confirmed and announced by Apple. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So, uh, yes, yeah, but I did want to say um, that this goes back a month ago. I did talk about this in a different vlog. So if you haven't seen it, you may be a little bit lost. So that's why I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory. So basically about a month ago, Windows CM, um, a, a, a infamous jailbreak developer named Windows CM that is actually uh, infamous for developing um, along with I Hate Snow, the popular jailbreak for iOS 6.1.3, 6.1.4, 6.1.5 and 6.1.6, um, which would be POSIX Bone. So um, basically, Windows CM uh, basically cre created this um, utility um, where you needed you needed to be really code savvy in order to use this thing. I mean, it it, it was just uh, there was so many bugs and stuff, and um, you know he basically he basically tweeted out to everyone listening. I'm, I, I'm gonna release this soon, um, but if you try to use this, I want to let you know. Um, that, you know, if anything screws up, your i your uh, iDevice is basically crap, the warranty is gone, you know, this definitely breaks the warranty, so I'm just warning everyone this is not 100% stable, so if you don't know what you're doing, you probably shouldn't do it. And that's basically what he told everyone, um, and so about a month or so later, um, he actually, on April Fool 1st, April Fool's Day, um, he actually released um, the code, the open source code for his, uh, for his, you know, bootstrapping utility, and he put it on his official GitHub page. Um, so I'll show that to you right now if you guys want. So there's a bunch of different files here. There's a readme file, make, make file, whatever file. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's a bunch of files here. Um, and he basically just went ahead and released all of these, um, to it, to his official GitHub page. Um, and so I will read this to you right now. It says iOS. K-E-X-E-C Utils, and it says a miscellaneous of utilities designed to help you bootstrap another operating system on your iOS device. They're probably crap. You deal with them. No support slash warranty implied uh, slash given. Warning, there are several caveats with this me method. Utilities included and duplicated from OpenSnow. And then it just kind of goes on to tell you guys the different utilities you're going to need to be able to do this. Um, so you really have to be code savvy to be able to do this. Um, so basically there's a readme file. That was the readme file that I read to you guys. Um, there, here is a bunch of text. I'm not even sure what this means. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and link this website in the description below, which it's going to be WinOCM's GitHub. Um, and basically this is, uh, this is, um, you know, it's especially, um, the part in his GitHub where it shows you how to bootstrap. Um, so I kind of just want to see, um, I might do a tutorial for it, um, you know, if it gets a, a bit simpler, um, if people understand and they comment back to me and say, here's what you got to do, um, and say stuff like that. So if any, if anyone watching this video right now knows how to read any sort of language of code, Java, HTML, I know, uh, my friend Seth knows how to read somewhat, uh, Java and HTML, so maybe he could help us out here. So, Seth, if you want to take a look, I threw it down in the description, the uh, official GitHub page, and it would mean a lot to me if you just went ahead and looked at it. If you have no idea what any of it means, it's fine. I have no idea what any of it means. It's really over my head. Um, but I'm trying to learn Java and all that, so maybe I could go ahead and bootstrap my phone and figure out how to do that. Um, and, and if I do figure out how to do that, then I will definitely make a tutorial um, as well as they're probably working, they're probably working uh, diligently on a um, terminal solution. That that is probably what I think is going to be coming next. Um, and so basically, what that means is it's going to be a project like Geek Snow or Open Snow, where it'll work for both Mac and Windows. Um, but you're going to need to have a terminal shell window open. And basically, you type a couple of codes in, uh, connect your iPhone. Put it in DFU mode, uh, type a couple codes in, select what iOS you want to bootstrap, um, select how many gigabytes you want to dedicate that bootstrap to, and then press enter and it does all the work for you like that. 
Um, you just ca- kind of have to, you know, do a couple of things, but it's still a little bit more involved because um, it would need uh, a tutorial for someone to maybe figure out how to do this, seeing as you might have to go into the system directories and file directories and stuff and figure out how to get root access and all of that stuff. Um, and so that's what I'm saying. Um, so I, uh, you know, a one click, uh, thing like, you know, a jailbreak tool, evasion seven, whatever, that's probably, if they're working on that, that's probably not going to be, um, released for a really long time, but at least we know that probably a terminal version of that will be released sometime in the next couple of months, uh, hopefully. So, um, yeah, so I, Basically, I'm going to put the link in the description where you guys can just go and uh, look at WinOCM's uh, bootstrapping utility, uh, open source code. Like I said, this is not um, final. He just pushed it out to the public, and he said he basically warned everyone. He said, look, this isn't stable. I realize, you know, this is all a bunch of code, and if you bootstrap your phone successfully and then something goes wrong, um, then your phone's pretty much crap and you can't do anything about it is basically what he said. So I'm just advising everyone if they know what they're doing, um, you know, if they're, if they know how to bootstrap it, if they realize, you know, if they can read all this code and stuff and they know how to do it, just take a couple of precautions first and know that just like jailbreaking, um, but that is actually a myth because they, Apple really doesn't do that. Um, but they'd be more likely to do it if your phone was messed up and it was all because of this bootstrap utility that WinOCM made. Um, you cannot pull anything on WinOCM since it simply isn't his fault because he did give everyone a warning that he said it isn't stable, it isn't public, or, well, it is public, the, co- the code, the source code is public, but, you know, not all, a lot of this stuff is, uh, you know, stable. So he's trying to, uh, you know, get people to basically know that it's not 100% stable and it's not really going to work that that good. Um, so I haven't seen anyone that has officially bootstrapped their uh, device. Uh, I will go ahead and look that up for you just to see. Um, so dual boot on iOS. Let's just go look up 7. Um, so yeah, so it says uh, Windows CM releases tools to do, to do boot iOS 5, iOS 6, and iOS 7, um, but it does not say, it doesn't say, uh, it's not really clear on how to do it, um, and I would imagine, um, it's a very tedious process, um, and it just all together would take a really long time, um, so, yeah, uh, let's see here, so it says, how to install iOS 7 on Galaxy, yeah, well, this, this has nothing to do with anything, but, I kind of just wanted to see what that meant. Anyway, uh, so um, I really wish I could tell you guys. Um, if anyone knows how to do it, how to do this, definitely leave me a comment um, because I really need to know, guys. Um, and if anyone you know describes to me how to do this, or I can actually you know I can actually figure this out. Um, so it looks like uh, actually you it looks like you will need uh, root access to be able to do it. Apparently, it says um, dual boot iOS six and iOS seven OS coming to jailbroken devices. So it does seem that you are going to need root access to be able to do this because it says this video shows a jailbroken iPad two triple booting between iOS five, iOS six, and iOS seven. Um, but this was okay. That's an old. Um, thing. Let me just see if I can get one more here um, for you guys. Let me just see here. Um, yeah, I don't see any more. Um, but this is definitely a really neat process. Um, and I really, really hope that someone figures out how to make it simpler. Um, a developer comes in and says, hey, look, um, you know, these are open source codes, um, but not a lot of people know how to, you know, interpret all this code and figure out how to do it. So we're just going to create a public tool that basically lets you click a button or you have to type in a couple of things and it's done for you. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I know I've been talking for a while. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the link in the description for WinOCM's official GitHub to basically translate it if you know anything about code. Also, make sure to tune in for tomorrow where we go ahead and talk about uh, a lot of different things on Let's Talk Jailbreak, or Let's Talk Jailbreak, Let's Talk Tech episode number nine. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is David signing out.